Hello, YouTube. This is Pissin' Moan, and he's still struggling on his list. <laughs> it was not a good year for it movies It was a rough year. Honestly, it was just a rough year for movies. Uh, trying to do our top five for 2018 has been surprisingly difficult. Because we were right there with 2017. Well, they were done. Well, no, for 2017, it was more of like, oh, which ones do I choose? Oh, if I pick this one, I have to knock one True. out. Yeah, and... it was... It was trying to figure out which ones were top five. And there was a tough was... competition. It's like, this one, it's like, Oof, God, do I put that one in my top five? Yeah, well, it kind of shows the state of the year for just there's, how... There's nothing I'd put higher than that one, but... Oh. It's just not a good year for movies. So, I'll start with my number five. Do you have your number five ready? Can you think about it while I pick my number five? Yeah, go ahead. So, Ready Player One is my number five. I uh, got a coin. <laughs> coin? Flip a coin. <laughs> if Ready Player Five, Ready Player Five, Ready Player One, uh, but it's no by by no means a great movie. I think I gave it like a seven or, I think I gave it a seven out of ten. That's what I'd give it in retrospect right now. It it gets gamer culture pretty good. There's a lot of things it doesn't get right. Like driving backwards at the start of the race is comical. That's like speedrunners or glitch finders wouldn't have found that. That that's absurd. Yeah. Uh, and the oh my face is scarred. Hollywood loves you. Look scarred beautiful, face, yeah. and you have slight blemish on your face. You, you're no. And oh, I'm such a gamer boy in my completely fit physical state. And it there was a lot of things wrong with the movie, but overall, man. there's nothing I'd put above it that isn't in my top five. And, it's a good movie. It's definitely worth seeing. And if you're seeing five movies in 2018, that would be one of them to see. It was pretty good. It's higher on my list, so I'll get to some of my points when we yeah. get to it. So, I had a lot of problems with it, um, but it was fun. It was it was very fun. I really enjoyed the movie a lot, and that's where it sits for me. And on to you. It's good. Yeah, it's your number five. <laughs> Shoot it in the bank. Uh... <laughs> So, uh, his we'll number five go is... With... You have to pick one. Jurassic World? We'll go with what was surprisingly a nice amount of fun for me. I'm going to go with Aquaman. Because that was... DC movie makes top five. It's just insane because I... Uh, couldn't do it. It was just... It was a lot of fun. It was nice. It was focused. It was not too preachy it had an interesting main character who wasn't yeah. generic broody or generic perfect um the generic act- stupid generic stupid <laughs> <laughs> the action was top notch uh, during the the, the the opening fight when they're in the house destroying the thing i leaned over him and said okay that was badass <laughs> It, it was fun. I liked I liked all the characters. They all had depth, and the villains were kind of bland. I know. I really liked the brother as a villain because he made he made a lot of sense. You could see why he was struggling, and the the rivalry between the siblings was pretty good. Still better than a, a bunny senpai sibling sibling rivalry. Arc three. <laughs> Yeah, four. Aquaman. Four. Just watch that instead of Bunny Senpai's Arc Three, Arc Four, Arc Four. It was it, Aquaman was good. It was an adventure. It, it was fun. It was. It wasn't too. It was not too bad for a superhero movie, and surprisingly, for how much I hate superhero movies, there's at least two in my top five. So yeah, and especially for uh, DC superhero movies, definitely was one of the best. Mm-hmm. Uh, I don't know if I'd put this or uh, Wonder Woman first between the two. But... I'd put this over Wonder Woman because I did not enjoy Wonder Woman. I enjoyed Wonder Woman a lot more, but the, uh, there were so many problems with that one. It was Captain America. It was that doesn't, that's Captain. not bad. That's not a bad thing. <laughs> so, the I highs of... I like the highs of Wonder Woman better than Aquaman, but the lows of Wonder Woman were a lot lower. Like, that bad guy in the final fight were so lame. <laughs> Compared to Aquaman, I would give Aquaman the edge on average. I uh, yeah, he, I don't think we've reviewed Aquaman either. I'm pretty sure we have. If we haven't, that's a that's a oversight on my part. We'll it's it's pretty good. 
I'm giving it to this over Black Panther because this one was fun. All Black pa and Black Panther was really good. I enjoyed it. We his he often complains about and I often complain about the stupid car scene. But there's a lot of really oh, cool stuff in that movie. Me too. Some of the fights are really good. Um the overall story is good. I like the uh conflicting sort of uh, motivations and loyalties that are do we stick to tradition or do we move on to You're talking about what's right, Black, Black Panther. Panther. Yeah. But I had more fun with Aquaman. I would definitely agree. I, I feel like the action in Aquaman's way better. Like the stupid rhinos in uh, Black Panther and just Black Panther's combat and action just was not as good like the final fight him and the other black panther just standing on a rail way actually we'll put it this way the reason i'll give it to aquaman over black panther is for killing off andy circus less than halfway through the movie because i love that guy in that role oh he was so done. good that movie would have been so much better with him in it as, yeah as, if he'd stuck around yep i loved it i love him all right on number four i'll start first because i've got a nice clean list Infinity War. Uh, I struggled to put this one in here, and honestly, it's got a lot of problems. A lot of problems. Uh, the use of killing off people in this movie was a little rough, and I really frustrated with a lot of it. And I know so much of it's going to get rewritten because it just you can't kill off literally half the cast and have that be the end. It's one of those movies where the meta gets in the way of watching the movie because you've got a trailer for a new Spider-Man movie that has come out while he's currently dead in the universe. And it's 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 a little annoying for me. And it's I feel like Marvel larger has gotten in the way of what was a really good movie. It, and like their usage of the Hulk, like they literally had to like retcon out how strong the Hulk is and just just to remove him from work. the plot yeah. to make it work. And uh, the Thor's constant ex escalation of power seems the, unfounded. The Stay entire least. plot of Thor three was how he didn't need his hammer, <laughs> and the entire plot of Infinity War was how he needed another hammer, a new one, stronger, better, faster. <laughs> But killing off Loki pissed me off to no yeah. end. That's why you won't see this in my top five. And Thanos so I've, just I've, I've, like I've, knocking I've, out Hulk at the very start. Like, like I said, a lot of problems with Infinity War. But at the same time, for a movie to manage 30 main characters or however many there is in that movie, because I don't even know, uh, like they handle three plot arcs in one movie. One of the best, if not one of my favorite villains of all time, Thanos, uh, they really did a lot good. A lot, I'm sorry, a lot well. Not good. Uh, there wasn't a lot of good in that movie. Uh, but... I will say, I did enjoy uh, Doctor Strange and Iron Man. Their interactions. Their, their interactions, their different balances, their different... The way they clashed with each other was very interesting. There was that was probably my that. favorite part of the movie. Captain America did not get what he deserved in terms yeah. of screen time. I really... Cause I liked Guardians of the Galaxy, honestly. Like, everyone got all upset about him, like, usurping their successful defeat of Thanos, but it's real. He's not a great superhero who makes all the right choices. He's the Guardians of the Galaxy derp. Uh, they could have does... done, done that better. They could have had something less stupid happen. The problem is I can see several ways to have defeated Thanos that the movie didn't use. Like I said, a lot of holes. Not the best movie ever, but for what they had, I feel like they made a pretty darn good movie. Uh, to do what they did with what they had, I'm impressed. And I'm I'm excited to see how they finish it out. Yeah, um, and I will go see Captain Marvel, and I will go see Infinity War 2, and then I will probably be done with Marvel movies. I think Marvel might be done with Marvel movies at that point. Their yeah, actors are, like, jumping ship at this point. Thor. Iron Man's done. Thor's probably done. Captain America's done. Uh, They're going to have to start doing alternate universes at this point. They're going to come up with ways to replace people. That's I think they'll do an alternate universe. They'll basically say, that's the end of what we're doing with that one. Well, no, because Spider-Man's coming out, and that's in the same one. Far From Home. 
Um, there, there's still stuff coming Ant-Man. out. Ant-Man. I think. It, yeah. It, so, but so that's my number that's four. Number four. Uh, it's not perfect. It wouldn't be on here in many other years, but for this year, it's one of the best. And uh, to keep it sort of consistent with yours, just so I'll go with Ready Player One as number four. It was, uh, like you said, it's a good movie. It, it uh, I, I enjoy the story. It. I, after uh, watching the movie, I went back and read the book and did not enjoy the book very much. The book was a lot of... Uh, it reduced a lot of the characters. Like the... Uh, I shouldn't turn this into a criticism of the book. The movie's pretty good. I enjoyed the fantasy. It kind of gives... Uh, here's an idea of what a game world would look like without... Uh, if everyone got VR headsets. It's a cool fantasy to think about where you would be in the final battle as a gamer, who you'd be playing as, if you'd be your original character or somebody else. It, it's a fun fantasy fulfillment movie. And I liked how I liked how they solved a lot of the problems. And a it's, it's a classic Spielberg kind of movie. It's fun. It's good. It's a good way to describe a classic Spielberg movie. It really is. I liked a lot of the side characters. I didn't mention that during mine. Yep. The side characters were all clean. Dido. Uh... They were maybe a little stereotypical, like, oh, yeah, I'm a little young Asian kid. Yeah, what of it? Don't judge me. <laughs> like, uh, you really didn't <laughs> need just to... don't hug. I like that line. <laughs> they could have done that, like, I would have liked it if there had been at least one, like, morbidly obese. Like, the ninja kid is this fat old white guy well and that's part <laughs> that's partly addressed in the book is you need to be in shape to be able to do some of the actions in the game that they do fair enough fair enough. um my my big complaint with the movie and it's kind of something that's been done a lot in other movies is at the end when the villain i liked how the villain finally sees what he's done gives up and puts down his gun what bugs me is when he gets into the cop car and he says, I'm about to tell you something very important, and the girl punches him, and that's supposed to be some kind of subversion, but that's done in pretty much every movie. It was done in Solo. It, I hate <laughs> it when they telegraph that kind of BS so hard. Uh, when it's They're about to tell you something very important, but the people doesn't don't care. That would be my biggest complaint about the movie. I enjoyed the adventure. I enjoyed the character of... Uh, I don't even know which one you're referring to. They're the, all the, great. The owner of the the game creator. Oh yeah, me too. Like that kind of Steve Jobs. Uh, mm -hmm. Yeah, he was great. I liked him a lot. I keep wanting to say Dana Carvey. I know it wasn't Dana Carvey who played him, but the the guy from Wayne's World, the second Wayne's character. World. It's a lot of. It reminded me a lot of him, but uh, it wasn't him. I I really liked his character and how he, the passion for gaming is very well portrayed in the movie. Yeah, I like it a lot. So that's my number four. Not even the passion for just gaming, but media and movies. Yeah, movies the and whole everything. Kid yeah. Caboodle. Everything. It's a great passion project. So number four, Ready Player One. I'll give it. Number three. Uh, for me, that's uh, MI6. Uh, Mission Impossible. Mission Impossible Six. Fallout. Mission Impossible Six. Fallout. That was the first Bond and or. Uh, Mission Impossible movie that really was just good from top to not chop to start to finish and one of the things I have to say for the best about it like one of the things MI6 did better than any other movie I've ever seen is they're subverting expectations through improper uh, in, in innovative use of trailers they gave such a different impression with their trailers than the actual movie it, it blows my mind i and love that trailer that trailer would probably be a good top five movie for <laughs> yeah honestly like that would bump mi6 trailers number two for me for the year <laughs> and like like it was phenomenal the it, best trailer it so i've cool. ever seen ever by far can, can, the the sad part i'll say is what they they use for misleading footage is actually a bunch of deleted scenes from the movie it's not all that different, but it's, but it's interesting to see just one hundred percent 
except for the truck scene. The truck scene is <laughs> literally not even in the movie. <laughs> no, and but but that subverted. I, that was so cool. Like the way they did that. Like it made me interested in the movie and completely threw me off what the movie was going to be about. I, and we'll, I'll get to that my stuff uh, from that in a bit because it's higher on the list. For I me. honestly can't see a lot wrong with MI6 other than it was very much just a a spy movie. Um, is it the best mo- spy movie I've ever seen? It, yeah, definitely. I definitely would rate it as probably the best spy movie I've ever seen. But it just it's just a spy movie for me. It didn't stand out and innovate and make me care so much more about the genre than anything else how many of the other movies have you watched i've watched i'm pretty sure all of them okay uh because this one is technically this is the closest to a sequel to five as you'll get in the mission Impossible movies because brings back the wife basically continues well, on the story line. five might be one of my another really good one that's the one where they they're swinging the rope with the uh like smack him in the crotch under the chair no, that's fun. That's Casino Royale. Is that Casino Royale? Yes, I'm is. so good at movies. Casino Royale. Casino, is really good. Casino Royale is one of my favorite movies of all time, as I'm sure I've mentioned before. That's about the only one that could give uh, a run for her money on spy movies for this one for me. And it's just like favorite movie of all time or some stuff. It's in my. We may top have to five. do a uh, Casino Royale. I know because your name is definitely knocked out. Casino Royale, but but it's so in the top five. MI6 is certainly one of the best movies this year. Uh, that wasn't questionable for me. I definitely rated higher than Infinity War or Ready Player One. It's just... It's just... I don't know. I I, I hurt to put it in my top five because I feel like <laughs> compared to my top five from previous years, this one just doesn't hold up. But it was a great movie. I, Above average. I have a lot to say about it when it gets to my turn. But... It's going to blend in. I've got my number three is his number two, so we'll be able to uh, we'll be able to talk about that. So, my number three movie for the year is the Megalodon, or the Meg. The Meg. Don't mess up the name. It's the Meg. Actually, isn't it just Meg? No, it's the Meg. It is the Meg. Called it. <laughs> Uh, yeah, so this one was pretty good. I mean, it's not... Okay, it's not good. It's it's, so it's cheesy, tacky. it's over cheesy. the top, it's hilarious, it's bad. It's uh, <laughs> Finish the movie by flying 400 feet in the air, stabbing a shark through its eyes. But man, it's got some pretty hilarious stuff going on. <laughs> it's, it's, it's sad, it's intense, it's hilarious. <laughs> oh... I always say this to put this in perspective. We'll just roll my two and his three into one because they're the same. Uh, I laughed so hard during the theater that my wife literally hit me, the and people theater was, was looking at me. I was laughing so hard at this movie. <laughs> uh, it was it was it was pretty hilarious. It wasn't over the it was over the top. Uh, <laughs> so over the top. He li- yeah. It was just fun. It was it was another Aquaman kind of fun movie. You didn't have to get too invested. It was just kind of was going on. I mean, it's basically the same plot as Jaws, except bigger sharks. Um, less less intense, more funny. I don't know Jaws has some good stuff too. I need to rewatch Jaws. That I will say that's one thing about this movie. It made me want to rewatch Jaws in a big way. Yeah, and I'll say that for Jurassic World doesn't make it on either of our lists. But it was interesting enough for me to actually go back and watch Jurassic Park for the first time, and it it holds up because oh man, it's a good one. Yeah, honestly, we were Jurassic putting... World made was in contention for top five for me too, kind of for the same reason. Not the greatest movie ever, but it's definitely the best Jurassic universe movie they've made probably since World uh, Park. Two, two is better. You two is two is. I love two. Okay, so using the screen, Jurassic Park. We're we're gonna have to edit in text for Nick. Mike. Ju- I'll do it. Jurassic Park. Jurassic uh, Lost World. Fallen Kingdom. 
everything else. And just, the other, yeah, whatever. <laughs> everything else. Yeah, everything else. Yeah, I should Three even, is horrible. Three's bad. World is Jurassic Park, but not. Um, and Fallen World is... Fallen yeah. World is surprisingly good. It doesn't have any right to be as good as it is. It, no. it doesn't even have the elements to be as good no, as it is. It's, it's just... Because it's the one scene... It's the scene where you get the videos of Chris Pratt training Blue... That was what turned around for me. That was that one made me stop and say, "All right, you know what? This is a movie for kids. Let's just have fun and watch it." Well, like and a the kid. bit where they're like hiding in the uh, dinosaur exhibits. Yep, I did have fun with that. And I know it's ridiculous, but the dinosaur climbing on the roof with the dramatic, the, the rain, the, the moon in the background, the roaring, and I'm just like, ah, oh, these are cinematic moments I love. I don't care if it doesn't. I feel like <laughs> Jurassic World rolled, like stumbled and fell into a top six of the the movies this year really on accident. Is, it, like, you didn't deserve that. No. You didn't even do it right, but somehow you lucked out this year. It Because I had... Because we'll put it this way. I had no interest <laughs> in the original Jurassic Park movies until I saw Fallen World. Jurassic World is and, so good. Jurassic Park. And holy crap, if we were judging movies I'd watched this year, Jurassic Park would probably be number one. Yeah, if we were judging movies I watched for the first time this year, Jurassic Park would probably... Jurassic be is a all-time classic. Uh, it's Ain't a it movie that up. holds up to today, which is amazing. And that's another... It's another Spielberg classic. There you go, right there. The standard Spielberg classic. It is the Spielberg classic, honestly. I think it's probably his best work. Well, he did Jaws as well. He, he does a lot of he does a lot of good stuff. It's it's true. And I would say Jurassic Park improves on the source material. Book not as good as the movie. It's all right. It's good. It's a good movie. The book's all right. Um, the, the first book is better than the second book. I can't even finish finish the second book. I don't know if I've read the second book. Um, but yeah. So Meg is number three for me. And uh, number two for him. So do we want? We'll to... run into your number two then. I, I've got nothing additional for Maggie. It was the funniest, most enjoyable. Like, it's a movie that managed to make me laugh so hard that the entire theater was looking at me like I was a crazy <laughs> person, and literally tear up during the film, and everything in between. Like it, I. <laughs> it's a movie that did not deserve to be number two, but absolutely hit it for me. Uh, it is resoundingly the number two for me, <laughs> without a question. And my number two movie is Mission Impossible 6. Uh, just to put in perspective, like it was my number one for sure for this year until Spider-Verse stole. <laughs> I'm good at secrets. You all know what was coming. We, ba we already said it. Yeah, it's time. clear. Yeah, I mean, We both agree. We, Mission Impossible 6 takes the number two spot for me for several reasons. Um... First, it feels it did a good job feeling like a culmination of the first six of the first five movies. It managed to drag in elements of all except two. Nobody talks about two. Um, I don't remember two. That was that was the one with the long, t long haired Tom Cruise. The, the, did it, it was the one. The, did it have the like the tree cutting helicopter? Of Doom. I think so. That's all I remember from. No. <laughs> You're thinking of the other Bond movie with the, the helicopter with the blades that goes down the dock as he's running away from the... No, uh, it was in the mountains and they've got like this tree-cutting helicopter contraption. I I'm, might be completely making this up. It's very possible. But I... Mission Impossible 6 felt like a good culmination. It felt like it was bringing six or five previous movies into one final plot same villain from five who was a good villain i wasn't too sold on him in three movie collection yeah except all of them are except one are bad that's what i've heard um the one of my favorite parts is they managed to make it the highest stakes movie without it arbitrarily killing off a character to raise the stakes yeah, it's definitely have to give it to you there. Their their stakes raising uh, was effective. 
Good. And, and I mean, they, they did kill off the CIA boss, but that was already past the point of things are higher stakes than they've ever been. There was no... There, problems weren't caused by miscommunications. There was direct and complete communication, but people still, by doing what they did, managed to make things worse. It was... It wasn't mishearings or... yeah, I, I hate how movies have to raise the stakes by having someone misunderstand someone else. But everyone understands everyone. It's just they choose what to do regardless. There um, was a... Like, one of the things I want to say, none of the deaths were bad in that movie. No. Like, every death meant something. Was impactful, mattered, I cared about it, and was good. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it, I really liked I liked the villains. The villains were good. Can I jump in quick? Sure. Like the, one of the, my most biggest complaints with this movie was the, the, I can't remember if she was CIA CIA or what. The MI six girl. MI six girl. Her. She was bad. Like she did so much bad for the story, the plot, the main character. She is. Oh. I hold effectively responsible for the death that, of the yeah, senator. The CIA lady. And she felt she endured zero repercussions for her horrible decision making mm -hmm. and that bothered me i wanted to see her kit fired and put in jail <laughs> and if not dead honestly for yeah. how bad of a person she was yeah she was a cause of the second half of the movie by herself um stop that that's my thing <laughs> uh <laughs> don't look at the camera and it's not a problem Let's see well the, the stunts were all really cool like and this is going a little meta. The 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 air the airdrop the helicopter airdrop is all done one cut and it's all real. It's he not, actually flew a helicopter. No, not even that one. When they're doing the airdrop out of the plane when oh, he yeah. knocks the, the helmet gets knocked off. That's all acted and done in skydiving. It's not a green screen studio, that's done real time, one cut, landing on that building. It's Tom Amazing. Cruise, like, forget about everything you know about it. He is an incredible actor. I think he's uh, just he, using it, acting as an excuse to be an adrenaline junkie. That's like he, he 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 literally jumped across two roofs and broke his ankle, and just that was the cut they used. Yep. That they. Uh, what a man! Like, learning wow. To, yeah, learning to learn fly to fly a helicopter. helicopter for the final stunt, which was cool. And ah uh, man, just. Some of the some of the work they go into for these movies, and it really pays off because it's not just it, they make it all work in the spectacle. It's it's a fun ride. You care about the characters. The tension is good. The action is good. Uh, watching the wife come in to help disarm the bomb was fun. It was uh, I I love it. I it's wish I wish he'd beaten Metal Gear Solid. Because uh, the, the scene like where they're fighting on that rock top uh, at the very end is like the culmination of the whole movie. That's very Metal Gear Solid. <laughs> like it's him against Metal Gear Liquid, and they're just just you know like all the weapons are gone. They're fighting on top of a Metal Gear. Like this is just me and you. They're just fist fighting it out until you finally kick him off the edge of the giant robot. And it's very very solid Snake. <laughs> I finish there. It's another game. One of the like three that I can think of that I've beaten more than once. Okay. Yeah, so Mission Impossible 6 takes the number two slot for me. And then, leaving us at number one, we Which, both agree Spider-Verse. three years in a row of matching number ones? We've only done two years of this, so okay. yes. We did ish. start in 2016, I think. But we didn't do a top of 2017. Okay. We've done yeah. a top 20... Two years oh, wait, in a row. No, 2017 and 2018 have been our two years that we've done tops. And we've matched number ones both times. It's kind um, of nuts. I didn't agree at first, but after I watched Spider-Verse for the second time, I couldn't disagree. It had the wider appeal. I enjoyed it absolutely just as much, if not more, on the second viewing. It, it's a masterpiece. It's probably the best superhero movie ever made. I Yep, it's great. It's got all of... I mean, we just did our review. Yeah, so it's hard for us to not repeat yeah, on ourselves. It, it, from top to bottom, everything they did in that movie was the right choice. Characters all great. Uh, story great. Uh, Comedic pacing, which is something Marvel struggles dramatic with. Dramatic pacing. And it's just, 
It all works. It all flows well together well. Phil Lord and uh, yes, Phil Lord and Chris Miller are probably the best two filmmakers going on right now. I They're the ones who did Lego Batman as well as Lego Movie. All the Lego movies so far, at least. And honestly, Lego movies from top to bottom are probably some of the most underrated films out there right now i don't think they're i think people are liking them ninjago is probably still the worst it's i mean but that's not saying that it was a great movie it's like a seven eight out of ten (laughs) and we'll get to two once he's seen two but i've seen two and it's it's pretty good doesn't Um, surprise me but it's i know what i'm doing on tuesday um depending on give me a call i might go again with you but yeah, so number one, Into the Spider-Verse. And that was something I didn't feel cheated by staying for the end credits for. Cause the oh, end credits... those end credits are great. Like, way, <laughs> what? I feel like they put in way too much effort into that end credits. I'm not pointing. You're, you're pointing at me. Well, no, like, in the whole credits, like, all those, yeah, like, random too. spider... Like, I'm oh. talking about the very end of the credits where the, 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 yeah. the gal... I'm not... You're, no, you're <laughs> back to the beginning. All right. It was Spider. And I'm like, oh man, they put way too much effort into that ending. They could have put that towards the movie and improved where. I, yeah. Is it a ten out of a ten movie? Ten it's, out of a ten. It's really good. Top-notch. I can't think of a better movie other than this and uh, your name, like. We'll see Royale. how it ages. I've got it because I don't see it aging poorly. That animation style is so clean. Well, I'm in, I'm in personally because the, there there are certain movies of mine that keep moving up the list the longer they've been out. It's my list is constantly shifting of top ten movies, and we'll probably have to do that those at some point because good lord, that that'll be a long the top video. movie of all times. Well, honestly, twenty seventeen to twenty eighteen are the king or kings for me. I don't even know where I'd put movies after those two. <laughs> Deadpool. Deadpool's a classic for no, me, as sad as that is. Because I have Galaxy Quest in my top ten. I have Incredibles in my top ten. Incredibles, yeah. How to Train Your Dragon is another one that might be up there. Uh, there there's. I'd like to do a top ten of all time at some point. Um, I would like that too. I'd have to think a long, hard time about that, though. Because my top three are in stone. Basically. Maybe even top four. Yeah, but that's beside the point. 2018, not a great year for movies. It was we don't rough. have our poster back here. Oh. Because... <laughs> oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot about Hacksaw Ridge. That's a great movie. I recommend that to people all the time. Did I really rip a cold corner off this? When did that happen? <laughs> that was our original one. No, we've done three years worth of... I don't think we did a 2016. No, because 20... This is 2016. It's 2017. No, 2017 was your name. We didn't do a thing at 20... At 11 by 17. You're right. Because, yeah, neither of us would have been beaten out by neither of these... Yeah. I mean, I'm not even... Yeah, see, it's written right on here. 2016. Cool. <laughs> Literally on you both can't pages, hear, you, can't you can't read it. Read it. <laughs> Let me bring it in for you so you can see how stupid it. Nope, nope, still can't. It's all washed out. You, good. you literally can't see it. It's written there. It's there. I... Here, here, there. That, that oh, that helps. Okay. If I turn oh, off the lights. Whatever. We're, we need to wrap this up. <laughs> <laughs> uh, hopefully 2019 will be a better year for me. Yeah, I'm really hoping. So far, it's already been pretty good. How to Train Your Dragon 3 is already better than most of 2018. Like, it already True, hits top three True, I would put it over me. some of... I would put it over some of our 2018. That might beat out MI6 for me already. It certainly beats out 4 and 5. Um, there's another good one we watched already. Lego Movie's pretty good. I don't know if that'll make top 5, but really like some of the stuff they do in the second half of that movie. I sure hope Lego Movie met top 5 for me in the year it did. He's definitely deserved it. Lego Batman came out top five. In it did for both of us. Your name kind of threw it for us. Well, I mean, you, you can't beat perfection. You really can't. 
like my biggest complaint about your name like oh they're like super beatbox hip hop interlude in the middle was kind of out of place and like yeah that's all I got <laughs> and mine was that one scene transition was a little awkward as darn near perfection <laughs> one of the best movies ever made uh, oh god Jurassic Park oh best movie ever would be tough you have to take into account Lord of the Rings the first Harry Potter movie it's gonna be it's gonna be tricky because I have my, oh, my top three gonna be thinking about this for a while now my top my top three your name Fellowship of the Ring Casino Royale probably next would be Galaxy Quest probably next after that would be uh, Incredibles when was the last time you watched Galaxy Quest hasn't been too long it's in the last two years. And some parts of that don't age that well. Yeah, I think it does. Your CGI is rough. That's not the point. The point is the story. The point is the story about. Story is clean. It's fan. It's the fandom meeting. Oh, reality. Yeah, it's it's how it, it's understanding the impact that storytelling has on its viewers, and that and that's what I love. But I think we've gone on for quite long enough for this video. Uh, got any words of wisdom for the audience? Prepare to be assimilated. <laughs>